welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Jamel Z8 8 inch uh, Dobsonian telescope. Uh, it's a reflecting telescope uh, and it has a 1200 millimeter focal length with a focal ratio of uh, f5.9. Um, it's a very nice telescope. It's very large as you can see. Um, it does have a two inch Crayford style focuser with two speeds. It has the adapter, so it uses both the two inch and the quarter inch uh, um, eyepieces. It has a nine by 50 finder scope. Um, and it's on, a, of course, a Dobsonian mount. Um, I attached a monitor to this, which when I use my camera and do an astrophotography, I have a seven inch monitor so I can see it rather than try and look at the display on a little, you know, a camera's uh, video display thing. Um, I'll show you the mirror here. It's just a little shorter. I have it on a stand in here, so you can kind of get a feel for it and see it. I'm going to show you the mirror. It is an 8-inch mirror. And basically, if you're not familiar with these Newtonian-type telescopes, basically what it is is the object that you're looking at goes in to the bottom mirror down at the bottom. The image gets uh, reflected back to this right here, which is the, known as the secondary mirror which is right here on this thing right here on the spider. And then of course it gets beamed back through this thing where you have an eyepiece at and you basically focus it. Uh, these particular telescopes are light buckets, meaning they have a lot of light gathering power. So when you take a 1200 millimeter uh, focal length with an F.5.9, you're gonna, this thing's gonna add in a lot of light. So it's really, really great for observing the night sky. The downside to this particular model is that it doesn't have a go-to uh, motor. It's not computerized. Um, Orion, I think, um, as far as the reflecting, they make uh, a telescope like this, same size, 8 inch with the 1200 millimeter focal length with a go-to uh, mount, which will basically, you basically punch it in and compu this, the computer will turn your telescope automatically for you. This is more for someone who's like me. I like to observe when I'm, when I'm out there searching stuff. I want to hunt for something. I don't want a computer telling me what, what I need to go to. Uh, when you're going to do long exposure photography and astrophotography, you would definitely want a computerized uh, go-to uh, type of telescope because you won't be able to take long exposures with something like this. Uh, this is more for like quick one-shotter, you know, maybe about one-tenth or maybe one-sixth of a second for exposure time without to prevent star trails and, and everything coming out of the focus thing. It does come with two eyepieces. It comes with a 30 millimeter two inch eyepiece. As you can see how big this bad boy is. It comes with a nine millimeter for a standard one and a quarter, 1.5 uh, eyepiece. It has a laser collimator, which is, as you can see, uh, this allows you to line both your mirrors up because sometimes you know, when you're moving and stuff like that, the mirrors do come off alignment. Uh, not, not by that much. I haven't found anything drastic in the alignment that when it was off a little bit, um, that it made that much of a difference. So it's a really, really amazing telescope. Uh, it does come with a fan. I don't know if I can show you the fan on the bottom. I'm going to try to. Yep, it has a fan. Uh, and basically that fan operates off of a little battery pack and just basically plugs into it and basically what the fan does is if you live in like a place where I live like Florida it gets really hot and the mirror gets hot so you want to basically cool the mirror off because if not it tends to interfere with the observing does make your images look a little bleak so to speak um, it also comes with a moon filter as well and I heard a lot of bad people you know, reviews saying, oh, because the telescope, telescope comes with so much stuff that it's, it's a really crappy telescope. You know, it's actually a, an amazing telescope. And it's exactly the same thing that Orion offers in their 8-inch and the same thing with the Jamel 10-inch and 12-inch. Orion offers the 10 and 12 as well. It's the same identical mirrors, the same identical scope, just different colors and a different name on it. That's pretty much it. Uh, the, the the base, the Dobsonian base, is all made out of particle board. I've heard people say, well, it's made out of particle board, so it's cheap. I, I guarantee if it's made out of plywood, you're going to be paying a lot of money for shipping. I can assure you that. So, uh, 
the other thing I picked up was the Zanel eyepiece kit, which comes with the Barlow lens, a 32, 12.5, 6, and 4 millimeter, and a bunch of filters. It does have a moon filter, but it has basically color filters and night sky filters to basically observe the sky and to add a lot of detail to your planets like Saturn and Jupiter if you want to really get to and see some fun details. So this is a Janel Z8, 8 inch. It runs for about $3.99 on most websites. I personally buy it from binocularplus.com. The reason why I buy it from there is because they have a really good program that when you sign up, you create an account there and you buy stuff from them, you earn what they call those plus bucks, so you can apply that toward something else. And between this and that, I've earned already like 60 bucks. So now I can pretty much use it for whatever I want and to add it for something else. It's free shipping on anything over $50 naturally, so it's really, really good. So that's really basically the, the, the 8 inch telescope. Like I said, it's, it's $399, $399, which is really not a bad price. Uh, it's not a go to scope, so again, if you're looking for to do long exposure photography, this is definitely not the scope for you. Uh, you want something that has a go to mount. If you're looking for just basic observing and some quick shoots, you know, photos and stuff, then this is an amazing telescope. It gathers a lot of light and it's like perfect. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of the, what I use and how I shoot things in my next video so you all can see. So enjoy and hopefully uh, this will help you better understand these types of scopes. It is a reflectance telescope. Um, it is a Dobsonian because it's on the Dobsonian mount. Um, it's also classified as Newtonian because it has the two mirrors. You have different brands like RC's. Um, you have the SC's, which is a Smith Cassegrain telescope, which is, um, there are different styles. You can, you can search them all online real pretty uh, basic. So uh, my next upgrade is a, a astrograph, a RC, which will be, I'm going to get a, either a six or an eight inch on that as well. Because those are really, really good for astrophotography as well. And I will also have a go-to mount so I can do some long exposure uh, astrophotography as well. So enjoy, and I'll be showing you guys some videos too and some pictures of what I got with this particular telescope. Again, it's a nice telescope for the price. You can't beat it. Uh, hopefully this won't discourage anybody from buying one of these because I, like I said, I hear so many mixed reviews on it. But And then I hear all the great reviews, and I want to give a great review on it because it's an amazing telescope. So thanks for watching, and I will now show you guys in my next video on how to set up your drone photography and stuff like that. So thanks a lot for watching.